Hi everyone, this is Jagmeet once again. Welcome to my lecture on database modeling and database designing. And in this lecture, we will cover the first normal form, and then in the subsequent lectures, we will also walk. I'll also walk you through the second normal form and the third normal form. But uh, the way in which we are gonna go ahead and deal with this topic of normalization is a little different. Rather than coming to know what is normalization, let's see how EF Cod would have thought about normalization, how practical scenario uh, would have caused him to use his brain and come to the concept of normalization rather than doing the other way around that is taking the definition of normalization and trying to work an example on normalization. Over here, we would assume that we don't know about normalization. We face a practical problem and we try to solve that problem. And in the process of solving that problem, we discover normalization. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me begin with the concept that suppose I own a shop and I have an electronic shop where I go ahead and sell across equipments like refrigerator, I sell uh, AC, I sell, I sell LCD TVs, I sell uh, say dishwashers, I sell uh, food processors and all sorts of things and I have a big uh, showroom to sell these things across and in order to automate my process what I go ahead and do is that uh, I tell EF Corp, one of my friends who is a uh, database designer to build an application for me such that the creation of orders and creation of bills is automated and I need not go ahead and uh, do that manual writing on my own again and again in my cash books. So he goes ahead and agrees with me and th that's how the process starts and I'll walk through what requirements I give. Now I'm going to walk you through the requirements I give EF Corp in order to design an application for me for bill generation. So what he, what I tell him is that my form or my screen should look like this. It should have order number. This should be automatically generated. Then it should have order date. That tells basically when the order was placed. Then it should have customer name. <coughs> customer address it should also have a customer phone number just in case if he, if uh, I'm unable to locate his house I can give him a call and get to know where I need I specifically need to deliver things to him then I should have a drop down menu to choose things and in this uh, menu I should have an option to choose a particular item say a refrigerator, a washing machine, a dishwasher, an AC. So I should have item and it must be a drop down menu and in this I choose refrigerator, AC, washing machine, uh, dishwasher, LCD TV, and amount. To keep it simplistic, this is what I will enter based on what has been chosen in this item list. So hearing this, he says that it's easy. You get the front end design from an HTML guy and I'll do the back end coding for it and I'll design a database for it. So he listens to me and he designs a database for me and that database looks like a table. And in this table, what particularly I have is, this is all happening in a database. I have order number as one column, order date as one column, then 
customer name another column address another column phone number another column uh, then item another column and the last column is amount things are perfect for me whenever some customer comes what I do is that I go ahead and ask him what he wants he says refrigerator I choose refrigerator put in the amount that record goes and sits in this database <coughs> so I can go ahead and enter record in this database something funny happened one day a customer walked in into my shop and he said that he wants to order a refrigerator and along with the refrigerator since summers are coming he also want an air conditioner so he also said he said that I need two of these items so um, I had no other choice but to create two orders for him in the first order I booked a refrigerator in the second order I booked an AC and uh, then I had two amounts to put in and those two amounts then were added manually by me through a calculator or any other calculating device and then I told him the final price and that's how I was able to service him but one thing struck me that there may be a scenario when people would have more than one items to place in a particular order how to cater that so I called EF Cord and told him that uh, uh, many a times people ask me for two things so can we adjust it so that we have item one I can choose item 1 amount 1 and then I also have item 2 which is also a drop down menu and then I can also choose amount 2 I can write in the amount too. So then it's very much possible. What I'll do is that I'll rename these columns and this column will become item one, amount one. And I'll have because of this case I'm just rolling it over. So it's in the same table and it will also be having item two and amount two. Is it perfect? That makes sense. Uh, I was very happy whenever a person had one order, I just used to fill in this column and he had two orders, I, uh, I put in another column. Then one day a newly married couple walked in into my store and they said that uh, they want lot more things rather than two items. They also want a refrigerator, they also want an AC, they also want a washing machine, they want a dishwasher and they want an LCD TV. So I was confused, how many orders should I create? And how can I tell EF Code every now and then that uh, well, I need more items in this list? I need uh, call. I need an option to put in item three, a drop-down menu, then amount three, enter something. Item four, amount four, and so on he would be really angry with my solution because what I'm doing right now is just not able to freeze my requirements how how many items would I require but I don't know before I make a sale I don't I never come to know how many items would I require to be filled in this sort of a form so I called EF Cord and I discussed my problem with him and he said that he could help me in a certain way and he could change the basically the design of certain things and then uh, what we will do is that uh, uh, we will see if I can able to I will be able to come up with your expectations and can deliver you something that's useful for you so this is what he did I'll just